so friends we are discussing the projection of solid question draw the projections of a cone base is 45 mm diameter and axis is 50 mm long when it is resting on the hp on a point on its base circle with a, a condition is axis making an angle of 30 degree with the hp and 45 degree with the vp and in the second condition b is axis making an angle of 30 degree with hp and top view of the axis making an angle of 45 degree with vp the solid given to you is a cone cone is a solid of revolution generated by revolution of right angle triangle the base is base diameter of the cone is given to you 45 mm and axis is given to you 50 mm long the according to the first condition axis making an angle of 30 degree with the hp axis making an angle of 30 degree with the hp and 45 degree with the vp axis inclination is 30 degree with the hp that is for condition a axis is inclined to hp that is theta is equal to 30 degree and phi is equal to 45 degree for the case of the solid problem we are going to start the problem by observing the position of the axis if axis is inclined to hp then we are going to start from the view appearing on the hp plane that is top view if axis is inclined to vp then we are assuming that as axis is perpendicular to vp and we are going to start from the view appearing on the vp plane that is front view here axis is in inclined to hp so for the first step what we are going to observe that the axis is perpendicular to the hp hence we are going to start from the view appearing on the hp plane that is top view in the top view we are going to observe a circle of a diameter 45 mm you have to divide this circle into eight equal parts by taking an angle of 45 degree each So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then corner is one, one point on is on the HP. Hence you have to draw the front view of the base of this cone on the reference line. Axis is given to you 50 mm. So this distance you have to take. 50 mm this vertical distance that is axis distance you have to take 50 mm this is one point and this is five point the front view of the cone will be a triangle having height equal to 50 mm and base equal to 45 mm then take take the projection of each and every point on the base circuit so this is 1 dash, this is 2 comma 8, 3 comma 7, 4 comma 6 and this is 5 dash. In the second step, we are going to take the inclination of the axis. Axis is inclined to HP by 30 degree and one corner, one point of the cone is on the, on the HP. Means what? That the front view of that point, either 1 or 5, you have to take on the HP means you have to take the front view of 1 or 5 on the reference line I am tilting this cone in the right hand side direction so that so that the 5 point will be on reference line so here I am marking this point as a 5 dash then you have to draw a line inclined to xy from the 5 dash the inclination of this line you have to take 90 degree minus the inclination of the axis the inclination of the axis is given to you 30 degree so 90 minus inclination of the axis 30 degree is equal to 60 degree so from 5 dash draw a line incline at angle of 60 degree This angle you have to take 60 degree. 
then take five one distance mark this is one point then take five two two comma eight then take three seven four six distance then from three seven draw a line perpendicular to this then take this distance 50 mm distance this point is o dash mark this point this point is o dash join one dash o dash five dash o dash this and this axis you have to draw with the help of center line automatically that this inclination will be now 30 degree then take the projection of all the points in the downward direction this is 1 5 then this is for O take projection from the previous top view also take projection of 2 3 4 6 also take projection from the previous top view here this point is 3 this is 1 this is 5 and this is 7 initially we are going to draw the outline so 3 O is the outline O7 is the outline and this is the curve part so we know that we are completing this top view by observing this front view from the top and in case of solid the edges are visible or invisible compulsory you have to draw the outline with the help of the continuous dot line when you are observing this cone from the top the base of the cone is invisible the remaining portion of the base you have to draw with the help of dash line this complete the second stage top view then for question number uh, that first stage number a the axis is inclined to vp by 45 degree so here you have to draw a line inclined at angle of 45 degree here we are going to take the inclination of the axis and here you are with same as a plane here you have to observe the length of the axis if here the length of the axis is reduced length if, if you want to take inclination of the any edge diagonal outside if that edge diagonal length is reduced length in the previous front view or top view in that case you have to take the apparent angle so here the axis is reduced length in the second stage top view so here you have to take apparent angle how we are going to take apparent angle mark this point this point is o dash this point is o1 dash so this point is o1 o2 dash then take original length of the axis in your compass that is 50 mm o2 dash at the center cut arc on this line this line is inclined at angle of 45 degree then draw the locus then take reduced length in your compass and on this new inclination you have to redraw this diagram by taking the distance of all the points as we used to take in case of plane the same way you have to draw the the cone this is visible this is a dash line then then take the projection of this in the upward direction then take the projection of previous front view and complete this front view by taking the projections here also the outline you have to draw continuous and this is you have to draw with the help of dash line because this is invisible this completes the a question when axis makes an angle of 30 degree with the HP and 45 degree with the VP now the second question in the second question what is the difference between A and B question 
in a question axis makes angle of 30 degree with hp and 45 degree with vp in the question b axis makes angle of 30 degree with hp means this is similar but only difference is that top view of the axis makes an angle of 45 degree with the vp the difference in the axis and top view means what axis should have its original length while top view of the axis you there may be uh, top view of the axis will be have uh, will be having a reduced length so for the second uh, question axis making angle of 30 degree with hp and 45 degree with vp the first two stages are common only difference is in the third stage in the previous problem that is in question number a here we have to take the apparent angle because the wording is that axis is making angle of 45 degree and in the previous stop you were getting the reduced length of the axis hence here you have to take the apparent angle but here the top view of the axis and this is what this is the top view of the axis hence here no need to take the apparent angle directly you have to draw a 45 degree line redraw this diagram here on the same line Then take the projections from the previous that is the second stage front view take the projections from the top view and complete the diagram here you are completing this front view by observing this top view from the bottom the base is invisible so the portion of the base which is not a outline that you have to draw with the help of dash line then here by joining this you have to draw a tangent to this ellipse every time you have to draw a tangent to ellipse in this case also and in this case also don't uh, make a mistake of joining that O point with the 3 or O point with the 5 only what you have to do initially you have to complete this uh, elliptical base and from O point you have to draw the tangent it's okay thank you